Cinema 5D at NAB 2017 is brought to you by b &H, the professional source for all your video needs. Tilta, R, your camera. Blackmagic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. Manfrotto, imagine more. And Olympus OMD, revolutionary in every way. Hi, this is Johnny from Cinema 5D and I'm here with John from Film Convert. And um, you're about to show us some new technology that you developed, uh, which is what exactly? Um, it's what we're calling a proof of concept um, for a new product called CineMatch, um, which is basically about camera matching. Um, if you shoot product, if you shoot films on any more than one camera, you'll know that camera matching is a really big problem for filmmakers. You've got every single camera, whether it's Sony, Canon, Panasonic, they all have different color profiles. The manufacturers all do su slightly different things. And when you get your footage into the edit, you'll know it looks slightly different. And the first step you've got to do is get everything down to a standard look before you can even begin editing, before you can begin color grading or do anything creative. And at the moment, it's a really manual and painstaking task. Um, and what Cinematic is going to do, we hope, is make that much easier, much faster, and hopefully automated. So, in order to start the process, what do I need to do? Because a lot of the people are actually filming um, in, in a, with a log file. Mm -hmm. Do I can I stay in the can I stay in the log environment and then uh, do the match, or I have to already put some uh, a lot on it and then continue? Nope, you can bring your log footage straight into CineMatch um, and start doing your matching. What we'll probably do is apply a viewing LUT on that just so that you can see the results, but it's going to pass through that log information. It's non-destructive. You're going to keep all your visual information in there. We'll just chuck that on just so it, it makes it easier for you to kind of line up and align the images um, to your satisfaction, and then you'll kind of pass that through. Since uh, what you're about to show us is actually a, a proof of concept, That's right. what should we expect next? Um, our roadmap is that we're going to have this available for at least public demonstration and a public beta available in November of this year, uh, 2017. Um, we're going to be going out to our audience and customers and the wider public to ask them about what they think about the technology, how they want to use it, how it's going to fit into their workflow. So we're going to be asking for a lot of input from people, especially professional filmmakers who are doing this day in, day out, because we're going to use their kind of wisdom to help design the product, basically. Um, of course, we know very well what Film Convert is uh, um, selling right now, but that product will be a standalone product or part of the existing package? It'll be a standalone. You'll be able to buy CineMatch separately. Um, we'll obviously offer a bundle deal with Film Convert, so you can use both. And they will actually complement each other really well. The idea is that at the beginning of your editing, you'll throw CineMatch on everything to get everything to a standard look, do your editing, and then at the end, you can put Film Convert on the end to give it the final kind of polish. Good. Can we see a, a short demonstration? And I think it's very important to, to stress that what you see here is actually not the final look of the software. This is, again, it's uh, early stages. Am I right? Yeah, that's right. Um, this is basically, a, this is the back end um, test uh, with uh, all the controls are exposed. So, And what we'll eventually be shipping um, to begin with is a Premiere plugin. So it'll work right in your editor. But what we wanted to do, we were so excited about what we're achieving so far with the color matching that we really wanted to just show it off to people. Great. Let's see a short demo. What we have here is images that were shot on two cameras. The left-hand side is a GH5, the right-hand side is the Fuji X-T2. So they're similar cameras. Um, the GH5 has a slightly smaller dynamic range than the X-T2, as we've discovered. But these two were shot um, simultaneously, same time, um, same lighting conditions. The only thing that's been done to these images beforehand was that they were um, white balanced, which is exactly what you would do if you were shooting a multi-camera setup anyway. Um, and you can see that um, coming out of the, um, straight out of the cameras, there's a decide, there's a difference. Um, you can see the split there with the GH5 on the left and the X-T2 on the right. And they're not, um, there's definitely a few differences in her face and the couch um, and the fabric there. When we apply CineMatch, colors shift automatically. So that's bringing the hues closer together. Then all that you have to do, and what CineMatch will eventually do, is it'll correct the exposure for you automatically. But we have an exposure slider here, which is tied to the response curve of the camera, and that brings those nicely into alignment there. How about pricing and availability? Uh, we don't have a uh, price set yet. We're going to be going out to our customer base and basically asking them, well, how much, how valuable is this to you? How much time is it going to save in your workflow? And we'll be setting our price on that basis. Availability, we're going to have a public beta available in November 2017. Thank you very much, thank and thank you very much for watching.